Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF Extended model for today's second video. This is your 42 day slash six week look for the UK and for Ireland. And I should get on it for you in a moment. Just say that first video, re the first video release today. I've not been on the Magic Water, but the first video, I've been on the Magic Tebo. Uh, first video release today was the 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Got weather forecast and day reporting there on the way later on today as well. Please like, share, and subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Uh, thank you so much to ECM at WF.INT for supplying the charts and the data as well, by the way. And uh, by the way, this update is going to get us to the 28th of April, virtually to the end of April. Goodness gracious me, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's look at week one. First of all, which is next week, the uh, 17th to the 24th of March. So, mean sea level pressure normally next week. We have low pressure to our west and southwest, high pressure to our east and northeast, and winds coming up from a southerly and a southeasterly direction. 500 millibar height to normally. Looks like that with a ridge to the north and to the east. Low pressure is to the west and south, and we bring up wind again from a southerly or a southeasterly direction. Temperature anomalies next week are above average. It's a mile of an average week to come with those uh, southerly winds. Spring resumes next week, and it's also largely on the dry up and average side as well. Week 2 will be the 24th of March to the 31st, last day of the month. Big changes here. We've got a mid-Atlantic ridge heading up towards Greenland and a trough of low pressure through the north and west of Europe. Now, could that bring down the wind from the north or a northeasterly direction? Could it? Could it? Could it? Could it? Could it? Could it? Uh, 500 millibar, so sorry, from 500 millibar height anomalies look like that with a mid Atlantic ridge again heading up towards Greenland and a trough of low through the northwest Europe. And again, that could be bringing, 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 bringing in, bringing in, bringing in, bringing in, bring, bring, bring it. Bring it, send it. That could be bringing in a northeast. Hello, send it. That could be bringing in a north or a northeasterly wind. Temperature anomaly is beginning to slide a little bit, but still slightly above average. Only slightly, though. Oh! <laughs> well, you see, driving average conditions in the North Atlantic and uh, wetter than average conditions to our south and southeast. I surprised myself then. Wasn't expecting that. So, I mean, that'd be epic. If that was like winter, you know, we'd be bringing the wind from a northeasterly direction there, wouldn't we? Uh, but we are. But, you know, if it was winter, uh, a lot of this could be snow and whatnot. Anyway, it's not winter, it's spring. So, it's mostly going to be cold rain. Now, we. Again, with a mid-Atlantic ridge heading up towards Green Iceland and low pressure with north pressure, but still should be bringing down a north to northeasterly wind, you know. I think so. Uh, 500 millibar heights again with some high pressure in the Atlantic towards Greenland and potentially a trough of low pressure through here. And I reckon, again, we could well um, have a wind in from the north and from the northeast. Temperature normally is slightly further, though you'll notice the model is not going for colder than average conditions. But in reality, I think we would be in for a cold start to April here, to be honest. And precipitation wise, weakening signal, but driving average in the Atlantic, a wetter than average away to our east. Week 4 is a 7th of the 13th, uh, 14th of April, I should say. Blocking is maintained over Greenland and near Iceland. I reckon this is a chopper spirit response to the SSW, to the sudden stratospheric warming event that the ECM is picking up on here. Again, that could well be driving in the wind from a east or northeasterly direction 500 millibar heights again showing a big uh, block of above average heights in the north atlantic up to green and again i see no reason why we won't be bringing in a northeasterly flow the temperature anomaly ah starts to lift up a little ah <laughs> starts to lift up a little bit though there 
So maybe my interpretation is wrong. I don't think so. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And uh, you see we're blocking it. It's up towards Greenland and Iceland and whatnot. Right, we're cooking with gas now. Week 5 is the 14th, 21st of April. Here we go. And still, we see quite a strong blocking signal here. I mean, we're five weeks out now, so the signal's bound to get weaker, but still we see high pressure up towards Green and Iceland, low pressure through here. Again, east northeasterly winds are possible uh, with that one. Could be a very easterly or even northeasterly April. The uh, 500 millibar height normally shows where that blocking is. It's got to be a tropospheric response to the strap warm, hasn't it? It might actually be going too far, but by this point, like into the second half of April, you would expect the tropospheric top of spread spots to begin to ease down and you know ease, ease off a bit so it might be going a bit over the top actually with uh, the blocking signal temperature on its own remains slightly above average so despite all of the blocking and whatnot there's no sign of anything particularly cold coming up and no real signal for precipitation either and then lastly we go to week six which will be the 21st 28th of april this is it and once again, you know, we've still got that signal for higher pressure up towards Green Iceland. Low pressure through the north and the west of Europe generally. 500 millibar heights, again, look like that. Blocking up there, probably some low pressure through here. So it's, it's how the block and the, and the, and the trial, how the trough and the ridge, I suppose, uh, orient themselves and, you know, align themselves as to who's getting the cold weather out of this and temperature normally still fit to be slightly above average and it's looking wetter as well there as we're coming into the end of april okay well all, <laughs> all very interesting i think you'll agree it's definitely signs of blocking and a quite a significant response to the uh, ssw not much sign of cold weather <laughs> out of that, I have to say, but uh, we'll see anyway. You know, just one run from one model, so um, could look different when we look at this model again uh, on Tuesday for the extended European Outlook, or indeed uh, next weekend for the uh, UK and Island Focus video. And uh, remember, any forecast on five, seven days comes with big health ones and large pictures that are attached. We're going to be back a little bit later on with your 10 boarding day and also weekend forecast. So come back for both of those. So this week's ECMWF 42 day forecast for the UK. I don't know. That's one now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.